They say the true test of a game master is the ability to play multiple matches at the same time, proving one's knowledge and understanding of the game. But in every few generations, a competitor comes along who is so in tune with the nuance and know-how of the game, they push the boundaries beyond the game itself. Yes! Yeah! <laughs> that was really impressive, Steve. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> did you see that move I did over there? Ah, oh, yeah. It's crazy. So good. <laughs> Welcome to the So and So Show. I'm Brandon. That's Steven. And today we're brought to you by the letter N, Yay! because it's always good to learn some knowledge. You do know that starts with a K, right? Yes. Yeah. Today we're brought to you by the letter K, used in words like cabinet, caboose, Colorado, and clock. Those start with C. Right, but clock ends with a K, right? That's right. Words like clock. Okay. Hey, hey, that reminds me. Did you ever uh, learn how to set that new alarm clock I got you for Christmas? Oh, you mean this one? Yeah, that's the one. Nah, no idea. Oh. You sure you don't want to, you know, look it up or ask nah. someone for help? I, mean, I figured out. You could just ask someone. It wouldn't be that hard to do that. I'm good. All right, there's no shame in asking. I got I'm... it. Moving on. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey guys. Hey. hey. So pumped to have you back on the show. Thanks, yeah. I'm so excited to be here. Yeah, uh, for those of them who may have missed you before, tell us who you are and what you know. Okay, my name's Mishka and I am now a 22 time robotics champion and a maker slash inventor. I love taking things apart to see how they work and then putting them back together. Hey, Steven, you know what you could ask her about? <laughs> I know what you're getting at, but I'm gonna figure it out myself. Figure what out? Nothing! So what have you been working on? Well, I, uh, I have a device that automatically makes peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Really? That's amazing, and I am so hungry. But for some reason, it keeps setting the sandwiches on fire. Oh, I'm not that hungry. I've also been working on a system that trains squirrels to carry your mail to and from your mailbox. Wow. But uh, right now, the squirrels just take the mail and hide it in the trees. Oh. Well, right. it's good that you're, you're always trying to learn how to do new things. Of course. I try and learn one new thing every day. It could be simple or it could be really complex. The key is keep trying and never be afraid to ask for help. Ask for help? Really? Oh, what's in the box? Oh, I almost forgot. It's something I've been working on for a while. They've actually started selling them in stores. What is it? I call it the Robotic Rise and Shiner. Oh, this is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, no, I mean, well, yes, this is incredible. But it, the thing is, we actually, you want to tell her? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I actually got Wait, Steven. I'm sorry. What is going on? Einstein, Bose, Newton Curry, MacGyver. See what you've done, Steven? Einstein, Bose. You know she only says her favorite physicist when she's starting to feel anxious. No, 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 no. Okay, I didn't. Uh, I wasn't. I'm sorry. I didn't. Uh, try, I wasn't trying to upset you. Are you making fun of my invention? No, it's just. <sighs> you got one? Oh my gosh. Do you like it? Well, wait, um, wait. Why didn't you tell me? Do you hate it? Did it not work? Is it a complete failure? <laughs> Einstein, Bose, do and Curry, MacGyver. No, 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 no. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. It's just I actually just haven't figured out how to even turn it on. What? Were the instructions not clear? I kind of threw those away. I wanted to figure it out myself, which I couldn't do, so now it just kind of sits here. But why didn't you just ask me for help? <sighs> because I was embarrassed. 
pissed that I didn't know how to turn on an alarm clock. What? Do you know how many things I don't know how to do? No. I, I had to read instructions on how to use my toothbrush. And it's, it's not even electric. What? Yes. I mean, how are you supposed to know something if you haven't learned it yet? Even the smartest people in the world are trying to learn new things. Yeah, that's why they're the smartest people in the world. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Do you want me to show you how to start it? Yeah. Okay. You just push this button. Push that one. And hold down hold this that. one. And then you turn this oh, one like then you this. Turn. Boom. That's it. Hello. I am RRS Robot Rise and Shiner, or Reese for short. Just tell me what time you would like to wake up, and I will make sure you are awake. Would you like to hear my alarm? Yes, and make it loud. No! Ah! Ah! <sighs> you have to be very specific with it. Yes. I'll send you over some new instructions. Ah, don't bother. I don't need them. I've got this. Do this, do this, do this. Self destruct mode. Ah! This robot will implode. Ah! In five, four, three, two. Yeah, could I maybe get those instructions, please? Yeah, no problem. No problem. Thanks. It's Bible story time with Kellen! Ah! We're not about to explode, are we? Or implode, which may be worse. <laughs> you, you heard that, huh? Oh, I'm pretty sure the whole neighborhood did. But... It sounds like you're ready to accept some help now. Yeah, I think I'm ready to learn something new. Ooh-wee! That is music to my ears. Well, today's story is all about searching for knowledge. Sounds perfect. Hit us up. This story is about when Jesus, as a kid, went looking to learn more. Our story starts when Jesus was around 12 years old. Every year, Jesus, his mom and dad, Joseph and Mary and most of his family would make a trip from Nazareth to Jerusalem for the Passover festival. It was about a four or five day trip to get there. They would stay for about a week and then they would travel four or five more days back. Are we there yet? Not yet. Are we there yet? Not yet. It was a long trip but it was an important one for their family and for all Jewish families. The Passover festival was a time to celebrate and remember when God rescued their people from slavery in Egypt. So I'm sure when they arrived in Jerusalem, they were very, very excited. Yahoo, we're here. First, we'll need to prepare for all the festivities. Then we'll have the feast. Yes, roast lamb. A day after the big feast, Mary and Joseph and their extended family loaded up for their journey back home. I keep thinking we forgot something. Are we forgetting something? Eh, I can't think of anything. Something important. <gasps> now, I'll have to give Mary and Joseph some slack here because it was a big caravan of family members and everyone just assumed that everyone was there and was accounted for. But when they stopped for the night, they came to a frightening conclusion. They had left Jesus back in Jerusalem, a full day's journey from where they were. Oh no, oh no, 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 no. He's all alone and scared. We have to find him. I can't imagine what that must have been like. Losing your child in a store, well, that's one thing, but leaving them in a city by themselves for almost two days had to be unimaginable. But they finally made it back to Jerusalem. The problem was, it was like finding a needle in a haystack. They had no idea where Jesus might be. Jesus! Anybody see a 12-year-old boy? Jesus! Anybody? Excuse me, sir. Who, me? Yes, have you seen our son? He's 12 years old. No, I'm sorry, I haven't seen him. What are we going to do? We've looked everywhere. Well, they hadn't looked everywhere. They decided to try the temple. 
Now, they knew it was a long shot because a kid would not be allowed to wander around with the teachers and the scholars, but they had to make sure. Oh. When they got to the temple, they found Jesus sitting with the teachers, listening to them and asking questions. Now, we don't know exactly what they were talking about or what Jesus said to the teachers, but the writer, Luke, he wrote, everyone who heard him was amazed at how much he understood. They also were amazed at his answers. Mary and Joseph were amazed too, and probably relieved, and maybe a little bit frustrated. We've been looking everywhere for you. Your father and I have been so worried. Why were you looking for me? Didn't you know I would be in my father's house? What? Mary and Joseph didn't understand what Jesus meant by that. When we read it today, we know the father Jesus was talking about was God. And one reason that Jesus was in his father's house was to ask questions and to learn. And guess what? It worked. Because as Luke wrote, Jesus became wiser and stronger. He also became more and more pleasing to God and to people. The end. What'd you think, fellas? It's wild to think about Jesus searching for wisdom and knowledge because he's Jesus. Doesn't he already have that? But that's the point. Those who sit around and think they're smart usually aren't. It's those who are constantly looking for God's wisdom. They're the wise ones. Now that is a boom if I've ever heard one. It is. So I'm going to leave that right there. Until next time. Thanks, Kellen. See ya. You know what? Now I feel kind of silly about the alarm clock. I mean, if Jesus himself was looking to learn new things, why would I be afraid to? Well, sometimes we do feel embarrassed when we don't know something, but we shouldn't. Yeah, I guess as long as you're looking and trying to figure out what God wants for your life, you'll be okay. Exactly, and I think that leads perfectly to... Reveal the question! How do you know God? Yeah, I guess that's what we've been talking about. If you search for God and for what God wants in your life, you'll probably know God better. Yeah, and, and you can do that by reading the Bible and talking with others who believe in God. Yeah, and asking questions. I wouldn't have known how to work my alarm clock if I hadn't asked Mishka. Yeah, and we wouldn't have known that awesome Bible story about Jesus if we hadn't talked to Kellen. Yeah, I think we've learned a lot today. I concur. Ah, concur. Another... K word. Nope. Concur. Concur. Did you do you hear it? Yeah. It's two. Oh, it's two K's. That's why. Two. Concur. Concave. Concur. All right. We'll see you next week for a brand new show. Con next week. Week. Yeah, but that is a C. I don't have a C. I just have an N right. and a K. You should really go to school. Okay. Hello. Reese says. Your head and rub your belly. Reese says, turn like a ballerina. Reese said, stand on one foot. Reese said, do a dance. I think I'm out. Do the robot. Oh, I like it. Reese didn't say. Oh!